Hey everyone, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. So I am so sorry I did not get a results video out to you last week. Uh, my video had some issues and I just didn't have the time or the patience to film a whole new video. So I just thought I would give you a week 108 slash 109 of my keto journey, week four slash five of my 75 hard challenge update in this video. I promise it's not gonna be super long. I'm just gonna give you an update on how it's going on this challenge and how my last two weeks went. Also, I did say that I wasn't going to be weighing in until the end of the challenge, but I have decided to do a mid-challenge weigh-in and that is going to be in today's video. My weigh-in day is not going to be until tomorrow, actually. That will be uh, day 37, which is half of 75. Actually, it's 37 and a half, but Anyway, day 37. And so I am gonna just be weighing in. I'm gonna be stepping on the scale tomorrow morning just to see where I am at and uh, to see some progress, see some movement hopefully on the scale and to give you guys a scale update in this video. So that'll be tomorrow for me, but at the end of this video for you. So let's get into the video. Let's talk about this week. Let's talk about this challenge. And I'm gonna share a pretty cool NSV with you. Let's go. All right, guys, before we get into the video, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. The support means absolutely everything to me. Also, I have a support group on Facebook, The Shrinkables. So if you haven't joined us over there for some accountability and some support, I will put that link below. So I am doing my own personalized 75 hard challenge right now. I'm not sure if you have ever heard of the 75 hard, but the original one was too hard for me. So I decided to just make up my own rules and uh, stick to it just to force myself to uh, live this lifestyle more consistently because consistency is something I struggle with. So that is what this challenge is doing. So before we get into week five, uh, let's talk about week four. It was actually an off week for me anyway. Uh, I got my period. And so I was very bloated. My inches were up. I think I gained, it was one and a quarter inches that I gained last week because of all the bloat. Uh, but I had lost three and a half inches the week prior. So that is okay, it happens. The first week of the month is usually my off week anyway, and that's what week four was for me. But I have to say, the exercise part of this challenge is truly changing me. Like I feel like I am being so consistent with it, and my rule for exercise is just to do at least 30 minutes of activity every single day. It doesn't matter what it is. I like to have a schedule of like upper body, lower body, uh, kind of like a free day, but I don't stick to any sort of schedule. My rule is just at least 30 minutes of activity. So if I will just have like a really busy day and I don't make time for it, by the end of the day, I'm like, I gotta go on a walk, you know, like I'm making it a priority. I'm fitting it into my day, which is something I never did before. So in that aspect, you know, this challenge truly is changing me in, you know, being more consistent with exercise and I'm feeling stronger. I'm feeling great. I'm falling in love with walking. I never ever liked to walk before and I'm falling in love with it. And so that part feels really good. I feel my muscles getting stronger. You know, I love the feeling of being sore and, yeah, so I'm just I'm just really super proud of myself. So week four uh, went great and week five went great as far as exercise. <sighs> I'm struggling with water, guys. I hate drinking water. I don't know what it is. And that is the that is a huge reason why I couldn't do the original 75 hard. Because the original one is to drink a gallon of water a day. No, I just can't do it. Uh, my goal is 64 ounces a day and I am like struggling to get that in, but I'm doing it every single day. I am getting my water in, even if it makes me feel sick at the end of the day to, to chug it. Because I had gastric bypass surgery in 2015, so I have a little stomach. And so I can't drink water with my meals. I have a hard time drinking after my meals because there's food in there and it just, it physically hurts me to drink water. So getting my water in is really hard. So I try to do it in the morning, especially when I'm fasting. 
And so that will help me, you know, not to have to chug it at night. <laughs> I'm kind of learning my lessons there, but uh, getting it in every single day. But yes, I am still struggling. I just finished week five of this um, 75 hard challenge and I'm still struggling with water, but it's teaching me, you know, the importance of it too. And just to keep myself hydrated and just really, you know, reaping the benefits of getting my water in. I wish that I could drink more water. I wish I could drink more than 64 ounces a day but it's just, that's a struggle for me. And that was a struggle before. And so that's why 64 ounces was my goal. And I'm crushing that as well. As far as my diet, you know, sticking to keto, my rule was uh, no trigger foods. You know, I'm doing great with that, you know, but my diet was never really an issue. I've always been pretty consistent with my diet. I'm on week 109 of this journey. And that doesn't mean that I haven't fallen down. I have fallen down many, 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 many times, let me tell you. But I consistently get back up. So I've, I've kind of got that part down, but my rule was just no trigger foods because the trigger foods, that's what sends me down this vicious, vicious cycle of just that shame and guilt and you know feeding back into that lifestyle that I left that I don't want any part of and so no trigger foods and that is going to be a rule for me moving forward you know I am a carb addict I am and so when I have something that is going to physically and emotionally trigger me it's just going to make my journey that much harder so knowing your trigger foods and staying away from them I think is very very important and that's something that I have learned the hard way throughout this journey. So doing really great with everything else, you know, I'm pretty, I'm really proud of myself for sticking with this this long, you know, and sometimes I feel like I could get a little bit more activity in, you know, on those lazy days that I have. But just the fact that I am doing something every day something is better than what I was doing before, which was nothing, right? Like, so I have to focus on that. And I think I set these expectations for myself that are just too high sometimes, and that's why I end up giving up. And so I say, oh, well, I have to do this, and I have to do that. And then when I don't do it, I feel like a failure. And so just saying, okay, just at least 30 minutes of activity, just do that every single day, whether it's just, you know, a stroll down the road with my kids, you know, I'm getting some activity in, it's something it's something that is what's important though is just to not be so hard on ourselves and just do something do something every single day and stick to your own rules make your own rules set challenges you know things that are not going to be too hard for you but things that are going to push you out of your comfort zone that you can be consistent with because that's what's going to teach us that's what's going to help us grow and learn and so that's what this challenge is doing for me. And honestly, yeah, I do struggle with the water part, but there is no way I'm gonna let water take me down in this challenge. <laughs> like if I miss my 64 ounce goal, I have to start over at day one. I'm not gonna let that happen, right? Like water is not gonna take me down. I tell you that right now. So I have not taken my inches for week five yet or my progress photo. So I will do that tomorrow morning because that is my weigh-in. So I'm gonna have my weigh-in with the inches with a progress photo that I will share with you guys uh, at the end of this video. But I do want to share an NSV with you that was pretty cool this week. Uh, Non-skill victory, if you don't know what an NSV is. Uh, we gotta focus on those NSVs because they take us away from the scale. They take us away from that number that we let define us. We let it define us in our journey and the scale is just a number. It is just a number. It doesn't tell us. A lot of weeks it doesn't tell us how well we did. It distracts us and it's just, it's a disappointment sometimes. The scale can be very evil. I have learned that. So focusing on those NSVs uh, is really super important. So I am actually gonna be sharing a clip with you that I filmed in my other video that I didn't get up last week. Uh, that part I'm gonna put in here now to share an NSV. We can't always rely on that number. We have to go on how we feel and those NSVs, which by the way, can we just talk about one real quick right now? What I'm wearing. So this dress I got after I had weight loss surgery. After surgery, I lost 126 pounds uh, in a year. And so I got down to my lowest weight as an adult of 192. That was my lowest weight. And then I ended up having kiddos and we did it through IVF. Uh, so with the IVF medications and the pregnancies and of course hormones and of course not tackling the food addiction part, I ended up gaining 100 pounds back after I had kids. So all of my skinny clothes 
didn't fit anymore. And I got rid of all of my fat clothes. Like I was, I was ready to be skinny, you know, like I, I, there was no going back. And in a way I was just so naive, you know, thinking that I was just cured like that, you know, like it takes work. We got to work on the mental part. You know, if we don't fix what's going on up here, this ain't going to fix either. So we have to fix the mental part. And so I was kind of stupid. I was naive and hopeful. Like obviously I, and I wanted it, I was determined and I was going to follow all the rules that I needed to after surgery, but I didn't work on the mindset. And so I just gained the weight back. So all of my skinny clothes didn't fit me anymore. And I have, a, I still have a bunch. I still have a bunch in there that don't fit, but I decided to try this dress on and it's tight. Okay. And can we talk about the skin too? I mean, I, I'm down, you know, 150 to 160 pounds from my highest weight. So I got some skin, I got some skin going on. Um, so I'm not totally comfortable in it, but this is an NSV because getting to fit back into my skinny clothes again, like that just, it feels really good. And like I said, the NSVs are what we need to focus on. You know, like those are the real results. Those are the ones that we can see. Those are the ones that are gonna show us how we're truly doing. And even though it may not go as fast as we want it to, it's still going. We're still going in the right direction, right? Like that's what's important. We're still moving forward. So we just have to trust the process and celebrate the NSVs. So this dress, I'm just so, I was just so excited that I could put it on. And it was, it was definitely snug getting it on. So I'm like right, right there. And there's still like a bunch of skinny clothes that I can't fit in yet. And that is the key word there, yet. Also, I had my appointment for my consult for my excess skin removal surgery, and so I am going to be filming a whole other video for you guys on how that appointment went and what my plan is uh, moving forward and like the timeline for this surgery, which is like super crazy that it's happening. So be on the lookout for that video. That should be coming up soon because it's exciting. All right, guys, that is it for this video. I told you it wasn't gonna be super long. I didn't want to cram two weeks into like a video and make it really, really long for you guys. Just wanted to give you a quick update on how it's going, sticking to the challenge. My life is still super crazy busy. Uh, even with Ozzy back at school, I still have the twins at home, so nothing really has changed for me. It's just, it's a really super crazy life that I have over here. And honestly, like right now, I kind of feel uh, burnt out. Like I just, I just feel burnt out a lot of times. And so if I'm not able to get a video up to you guys, please know that I am doing my best. I'm trying over here and I will get them out to you as soon as I possibly can. Uh, but things are just really pretty hectic, but I am sticking to this challenge. I am sticking to my goals. I'm not going to give up. And as hard as, you know, some days are, I'm just never going to give up because we don't do that. Right guys, we don't give up. We just keep trying. We may fall down, but we always get back up and that's what matters. So here is the next part of the video, my weigh in. We're gonna see how it's going. All right guys, never mind the look, no makeup, crazy hair, but it is weigh in day today. Uh, my mid challenge weigh in. And so my starting weight at the beginning of my 75 hard was 230. So I was definitely up on the scale, wasn't a pretty number to me at all, uh, but I stepped on the scale this morning and I am 215. So I have lost 15 pounds uh, already halfway through this challenge. So really super excited because everything that I'm doing is working and it just feels really good. So that is my weigh in 15 pounds down and five weeks in on to the sixth week of my 75 hard. guys if you like this video give me a like subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already and don't forget to join my support group on facebook i will put that link below i hope you guys are having a fantastic week reach out to me anytime you need me stay safe and choose health guys bye and that is what it's and that is what it's 
So be on the lookout for that video. Um, excuse me. And uh, yeah, we'll see. We're gonna see how it's going. I keep singing everything that I'm saying. She's taking the focus away. Okay, move along.